Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to the first episode of my Empire Total War American Civil War campaign. We're playing as the Union States. So welcome to the campaign, guys. I want to make a deal with you. If this video can hit 200 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second episode. If not, you just have to wait, uh, wait a couple of days for that, so uh, never fear. But welcome to the Union States campaign. I can't wait to uh, get stuck into it. But before we do so, there's something I must address. And it's pretty disappointing if I do say so myself. Now, unfortunately, this mod is plagued with copyrighted music. So I'm going to have to mute all the music uh, in this mod. Now, usually how I get around copyrighted music, such as the Third Age, in the Third Age mod, I simply mute the music. However, the mod developers who made this mod have put copyrighted music in the speech and in the effects. So I have gone into the game settings to remove uh, the music, but it keeps coming back and I can't seem to, to get all of it. So it's either... I mute it and play the campaign, or I simply can't upload the series if I've got it unmuted, which is unfortunate because I think Empire Total War and the gun sounds just sound absolutely magnificent. But, uh, yeah, it's it's disappointing. I do have a contract. Well, not really a contract with the Creative Assembly. It's a license, so I'm allowed to upload their content. I'm not allowed to up upload copyrighted music, of course, which the mod developers don't give a shit about, uh, which is completely understandable. Uh, they want to make the best experience for the player, and it doesn't matter uh, if they use copyrighted music and and unlicensed stuff, simply because they're making a mod and they're and they're putting it out to people. They're trying to get the best experience for the players. Then I understand they're not trying to do it uh, for us YouTubers, but uh, yeah, they just want the best experience for the player. So unfortunately, we're going to have to mute the music. Nothing I can really do about it. I do apologize. So let's get into the Union States campaign. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me to do this mod, and I'm quite excited. This will be my first campaign. I did do a couple of tests to see if it works. It's all in order. That's how I found out the copyrighted music. So let's see what we're working with here diplomacy-wise. So we have the Union States here, of course. That's what we're playing as. And the Confederate States. I want to try to clear war on them as quickly as possible. Prefer because for some reason there's no standing army, there is not a single army uh, in the Union States just yet. So, how the world is sort of shaping up in the American theatre, we can't actually go to any other theatre uh, in this mod. So we have Britain in the north in modern day Canada, so I'm going to quickly negotiate with them, try to get some trade, and I want to make an alliance with them as best as possible. I want to focus on the Confederates, I don't want to have a, a war on two fronts, um, and especially having Canada up in the north, they could knock out our eastern line quite quickly and uh, destroy us. So they don't want a military alliance. I'm quite happy to give them a decent amount of money, uh, honestly. We do have a huge war chest, so I'm quite happy to give you 5000 for a military alliance. Uh, with, oh, I won't go with military access, not just yet, so maybe next turn. France has one settlement down in America. Let's get trade rights with you. And alliance with the French, maybe. No, they don't want that. Colombia as well. The more trade rights we can get, the better. Haiti as well. I want to focus on the Confederate States, whether or not we can expand into Mexico and into Canada later on, we will see. But we need to focus on the war against the Confederate States. Now, Mexico has done a counter-offer here, a military alliance for Maryland. Why would I give them Maryland? <laughs> uh, I'm quite happy to have a military alliance with you. No, there's no way in hell I'm giving you Washington, D.C. Jesus. <laughs> okay, what's this? The Republic of Venezuela. They don't want trade. I guess we don't have any more trade nodes. The Spanish have... Cuba, would you like trade? Yes. Uh, an alliance, maybe? No. The United Provinces, trade. Perfect. Um, let's renegotiate quickly with Great Britain. I'm quite happy to give you 8,000. We can't afford to have them at our rear. Rejected. Maybe next time we can renegotiate. So, we currently have Washington, Philadelphia, uh, Boston, Maine, Rochester, West and East New York, Detroit, 
Frankfurt. Awesome. So, obviously, our president is the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Abraham Lincoln. And uh, here's our army as well. So, he's currently 61%. Okay, so the middle class and the lower class taxes are quite low, which is interesting. So, maybe the populace isn't overly too happy with us. Right, um, so we've gone through the diplomacy. There is no technology in this. Um, we might be able to negotiate with other factions. So, I want to build infrastructure. At the moment, we haven't got any cobble roads, so it's going to improve the town wealth and movement speed because I want to be able to move across this sort of top half of America. So I'm going to quickly go around and build as many roads as possible um, so we can move our armies to, well, repel any attack that the Confederates have, but I really want to go to America one day. I did mention this in my United States campaign um, on uh, Empire. I really want to go to the United States, maybe when I'm 21, when I can legally drink <laughs> in the States. So, let's recruit an army. I think the main sort of military where we're going to get from is from the East Coast. So, Philadelphia here is our capital. Uh, we'll go with three units of howitzers. Um, probably only two in an army because they are quite significant in this. The I think you get like nearly six or eight per unit. Right, so we get four units of Union Cavalry. I want four units of Cavalry, two units of Howitzers, the rest line infantry. So these the rest can be Union volunteers. Let's try to get as many of them as, from, as possible. Uh, Boston can recruit Union volunteers. Uh, New York as well. West and Central. Uh, Frankfurt in Kentucky. I'm going to build a small army here because we are really quite close to Tennessee. Um, now, St. Louis in Missouri can build another army, so we're going to build another full stack here. So we get two howitzers, four Union cavalry. We can't actually recruit any more, so we're just going to go with the normal dragoons and the rest. Oh, we can actually get Union infantry here. Is that because... Okay, this is a governor's encampment. I want to upgrade, hmm, I can't change it here. I'm going to also have to upgrade the governor's residence as well in certain places. So basically the plan for this campaign, once I have at least two full stacks, we're going to hit the Confederates, hit them and hit them hard, and try and take them out, of course. We're going to push upon Richmond. I think if we can take Richmond, um, Carolina, Georgia, and Florida... And Tennessee, we're going to be able to cut off the uh, that side if we can quickly push down here and hold, obviously, a pretty large force near Georgia and Tennessee and Missouri. We can basically block off their advance. So, what else do they have? Jackson, Mississippi, New Orleans, Louisiana, Lower and Upper Texas, uh, Nashville, Santa Fe, and then obviously Mexico uh, down to the south. So I'm going to quickly have a look at where as I can upgrade my governor's residence. I want to focus on the east coast because it's easier to defend. Um, okay, but I still want to leave a little bit of money in the bank so I can negotiate with Great Britain next turn. I might upgrade Kentucky as well. I can't upgrade Missouri. Kansas might be a, a decent place to defend as well. I don't think they're going to take Nebraska. I'd be surprised if they push all the way up north. So we're going to build some farms up here in our northern sort of provinces, which are easier to defend. So we're going to upgrade my farms here. Okay, right. I think we're all right. Let's do a save. Uh, what other saves have I got here? So I've got my United States... My Great Britain, my fun Swedish and the Austrian campaign. Okay, I was just having a look. So we'll do a quick save over now. Let's end the turn. But yeah, oh wow, <laughs> that's interesting. So the Confederate States have negotiated with me. So there was also copyrighted music every time the Confederates and other factions go into diplomacy. So they want Missouri, West New York, Kentucky. Um... They will give me New Mexico and all these technologies and pay me a, six, a, a significant amount. Fuck off, Jefferson Davis. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, no thank you. But 
it shouldn't be too much of an issue having no music. It just breaks the immersion a little bit, which I do like, of course. I love the music in this. You're just going to have to put up uh, with my voice. So let's move everyone to Maryland in Washington, D.C. Let's try and move my units out as quickly as possible because, like I said, for some reason, there's no standing army. So um, once we finish moving, let's renegotiate with the British, Great Britain, for a military alliance. They've accepted. So we have a military alliance. Whether or not we keep that, I wouldn't actually mind taking um, this settlement here, Fort, Nash Fort Nashwalk. Upper and New France. It'd be quite... An what the fuck? What's happened here? Oh my god. So, the Confederates have made a agreement with the United Provinces. Never trust the Dutch. <laughs> oh god. So they've given them Upper Texas for a military alliance. Interesting. So, the United Provinces do have two territories. I was, I was interested to see if they might have swapped it down here or something. No. So, let's negotiate with the French. The French, maybe they won an alliance. Maybe Colombia. No. What about Haiti? They don't really like me overly that much. Does Spain want an alliance? No. So, at least we've got an alliance with uh, Great Britain. So, we're not going to get hit in the rear... Um, behind them. And we also didn't have to give a significant amount of money. So let's upgrade my university and maybe upgrade some of the trade ports here because trade is going to be a huge factor in this campaign. So we have four units here defending Kentucky. I think that's okay. We've still got a huge force being uh, constructed here with the Union regular infantry. I do want to have the ability to upgrade some of these settlements. Uh, to a bigger capacity. But yeah, the United States fascinates me. I don't really know overly too much about this time period compared to others, simply because we didn't really learn about it at school. We obviously did touch on the Revolutionary War, um, but obviously being an Australian, they don't really... Our education's sort of similar to British, so they don't usually talk about <laughs> when they lost the eastern part of uh, the United States, <laughs> which I find is quite funny. So, the United Provinces are going to give me a military alliance for 5,200. I'm going to accept that if they're giving me that much money. When I declare war upon the Confederates, they're going to have to make a decision. American Civil War, okay. It's cool how these headlines pop up. I will try to get a battle on today's part, but we'll just have to see, of course. But, yeah, I, I find the United States fascinating. I, I want to go there and experience it, because each... Basically, each state is like its own country um, with its different culture and history um, as well. So, I, I definitely plan on going to the United States before I die. Okay. Um, what else sort of can we do here? Still just trying to put money into the economy. Try upgrade my f um, ports as, must, uh, as best we can. Um, how else can we sort of do here. But we'll move everyone to Washington. We're going to be pushing upon Richmond, Virginia as quickly as possible. But I do want to get an army out. Alright, let's have a look at Missouri. We still have a couple more nodes here. These Union Regular Infantry look quite nice. So we have the Union Regular Infantry. We have the Another Union unit here. Union Volunteers. Alright, alright. So, that's interesting that they've given them Upper Texas. So, it's actually a little bit of a buffer. The only way they can hit me is through these other sides. They can't... Well, they've got a military alliance. So they probably can't go through there. So, once I have a full stack at Missouri, we're going to hit Jackson, Mississippi. I don't know how well we're going to be able to take Nashville. We'll just have to see. I could even swing around and take that. Alright. So how sort of the standing army in Washington, D.C.? Not quite at full effect. Okay, let's end the turn and continue. So it looks like there's a 
force being rallied. The recruitment report. Okay. Any other headlines? That's interesting. So what have they got here now? One unit. How can I recruit a general? You are usually on the side here. Hmm. That's odd. Regardless, we shall continue to move our units. We're trying to build up a full force, slowly putting money into the economy. I might renegotiate for some more alliances now. Uh, Colombia likes me. They oh okay so Colombia as allied with Mexico and Venezuela. Nope. Um, the Spanish like me. Would you like an alliance? No. Uh, the United Provinces actually like me, even though they're going to have to choose soon. Let's try get a trade with Mexico, and we have. Yeah. Oh. What? This is really interesting. The Confederates are giving up most of their land. They've given a... They've given Santa Fe, New Mexico to the Colombians. Does that mean that there's a Confederate... Hmm. That's very interesting. I don't know why the Confederates are giving up their land. It's putting them in a very poor situation once I... Uh, invade <laughs> and absolutely smash them. Let's get more of these regular infantry because we're about to declare war soon. We'll hit Jackson, Mississippi, hit them and hit them hard. I might actually get... Um, yeah, I might actually hit Tennessee and Nashville. Five units off attacking, I think. The earlier we can hit them, the better. Throw absolutely everything. Rain, fire, and death upon them. All right, let's end the turn. How are we going for time? 17 minutes in this part. Wow, I've been rambling on. But you guys all know, here we go. Here we go. Um, It does take a while to get into these Total War campaigns, especially for the first episode. Just have to have a quick sip of water. So, the Confederate States throw the first stone, eh? They've declared war on me. So, we're going to call the United Provinces and Great Britain. It's going to be interesting to see if they join me. Yes! <laughs> oh, gotta love the Dutch. <laughs> a schmuck and a pancake. A schmuck and a crepe. Oh, God. I highly recommend you go watch Austin Powers if you haven't. That is such a brilliant film. And I just lost all my Dutch subscribers. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll try not to... Uh, do any more accents? I've been refraining from an American accent, uh, an American, <laughs> um, I don't know, accent the whole time. Putting on a voice, right? Let's see where we can move. So we're going to upgrade Washington to military. I think most of these settlements we're going to on the, especially on the east coast, we're going to make military. Maybe New York and some of the back ones can be something different. So how do I get generals? Surely you just need to either... Well, you can't recruit them from the pool. Do I need to go into my politics and my ministers? I don't know. Why can't we have generals? Hmm. If we don't have any in this part, I might just have to check it later. But regardless, we have a full stack here in... Uh, St. Louis in, in Missouri. We're going to push upon Jackson, Mississippi as quickly as possible. I might even move up these other four units as well. We still have a couple more on the way. What's the order resolve like of actually trying to push and take Nashville? We can. They have one unit of howitzers. We should be able to win that victory. Um, I wouldn't say it's probably worth playing, but we've taken our first Confederate settlement. We have hit them at Nashville. Tennessee. So it does look they have a. I don't really know. A, a just spread out sort of force. But they don't have New Mexico, Santa Fe, and Upper Texas. That's insane. I think our first battle is going to come against 
uh, in Richmond. So they've got John Mosby here and George Pickett. Wait for these reinforcements to come. And a couple more turns. Still continue to recruit as many Union volunteers as best we can. So the first battle is either going to come at Richmond, Virginia or Jackson, Mississippi. Um, we still have a little bit of money here as well. So the more we can put into our economy, the better. Looks like some pirates are actually besieging uh, Quebec in Canada, which is interesting. But I haven't gone through my victory conditions. I forgot to do that, of course. Alrighty. Uh, where is... Yeah, objectives-wise... Oh! There's missions. Yeah, alright. So, we need to capture and hold 25 regions by the end of 1870. It's 1861 now. We have to get the specific settlements. We need to hold 25 regions. We currently control 16. So, the settlements that we need are Lower Texas, Virginia, New France. So, we still need Virginia and New France. But, uh, yeah. Once we finish off the Confederates, whether or not we push into Mexico and maybe some of these other factions, we'll say. But I want to focus on the Civil War aspect of this. Brother versus brother, basically. So, how are we sort of going here now? Hmm. I still think we can beat that. All right, let's push down to Jackson, Mississippi. With our two full stacks. And we also have reinforcements as well. We still have a significant amount of money. Right, so what are we sort of coming up against here? The Confederates are sort of spread out a bit. Right, let's push upon Richmond, Virginia. Or maybe I should wait until we get those other two units. I want to push with a full stack. Why can't they move in? Oh, well. Next turn, we'll move. Right. Continue to rally up as well. Push everyone into Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Let's continue to get a host. Alright. Can't recruit any more Union regular infantry. So let's get the Union volunteers. Alrighty, so we have one full stack pushing upon Jackson, Mississippi, the other going down the east coast of America. So they're, sort of, they're, they're raiding my settlement, my my farms in uh, Tennessee, which is interesting. Alrighty, this is going to be a hell of a fight here. Line infantry. Okay. Reinforcements. We'll quickly try to recruit some more units and then we'll uh, see which battle's worth playing. Uh, I said in those upper settlements, I don't really want to go with military. Alrighty, so what have they got here? Four, three, three, probably just over half a stack. Compared to, to, yes, yeah, so it's a pretty big battle at Jackson, Mississippi. So, let's push up an attack. Uh, we're going to get intercepted there. Um, we should be alright, though. Okay, so, this is going to be the first battle of the campaign at Jackson, Mississippi. So, four units have been intercepted, however, our full stack of reinforcements. So, we're coming up against three units of line infantry, one unit of Confederate regular infantry, and then three more units of line infantry, one Dragoon unit, one Ranger unit, one Artillery, Confederate Napoleon, 
and then another Confederate infantry. So in this army build, the reinforcing, the first army just has four units of Union regular infantry, two units of 24 howitzers, two units of Union dragoons, and then just two lower tier. The rest consisted of Union regular infantry. So let's do a quick save before we jump into our first battle of the Union States campaign and throw back these Confederates. It should be fun. Just had to have a quick sip of water. Would charge hell itself for that old man. Okay, Confederate soldier referring to Robert Lee. The General Lee. Gotta get them Duke boys. <laughs> Jesus. It's a great movie. The one with... Uh, Oh, fuck. What's his name? The guy from Jackass? Johnny Knoxville. Alrighty. So, it looks like we've sort of been clustered here. A little bit. I want to push back. Um, they are attacking me, of course. So, we want my reinforcements to come in. We could take the high ground here, but I don't know why we would. Are there any sort of natural occurring defences? No, not really. So, we'll basically spread everyone out here as best we can. I might even push up a bit, to be honest. These guys can spread out a hell of a lot. There are 300 of them, of them per unit. So here's our first look at the Union unit. I do know on the thumbnail that it, uh, the, the uh, soldier was a man from uh, <laughs> Shogun 2 Total War. The Boshin War. It was sort of close to the American Civil War. It was either... Um, that or a, uh, what was it, an a Empire Total War soldier, which, uh, you yeah, know, was a very different time period. So, my reinforcements are surely but, uh, are surely but slowly coming in, and here are the Confederates. Looks like they must be, uh, rattling up here, but their reinforcements are coming in as well. This should be a hell of a line battle. But here comes the brave men of the Union States, soon to be the United States of America. <laughs> okay. Let's start speeding things up a bit. Right, so where do we sort of want to deploy here? Maybe just, a, just um, above that ridge. Wow, we can move out. So go, 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 gadget. Oh, we can also fasten bayonets in this. I forgot. Alrighty. Let's move up as best we can with my... Hang on. I don't want to unlimber just yet. Need to get into position. Go, 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 go. So, the Confederates are coming up over the hill. Where are the remaining of my reinforcements? Ah, oh, here they come. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, so it looks like they have cavalry on this other flank here. No? Yeah, they do. Alrighty. Need to get my artillery in as best we can. Might put one unit here and the other unit further down here. All right, go, 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 go. Where, where is everyone? Is it just because they're slowly trickling in because of those artillery units? Yep, so we've got another unit coming in here now. But we've made our line. Riflemen! Fire at will! So it looks like the Confederates are trying to match up with my line. Their artillery is in range. They only have 12 howitzers. We have 24. 
All right. Let's start speeding things up. Still keeping an eye on the Confederates. Just waiting for my reinforcements to trickle in and waiting for my artillery as well. But guys, if you are enjoying this campaign, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button if you haven't already. Helps me out a bunch. And subscribe. Also, if you haven't checked out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you want to download and play this mod along with me, maybe you want to play as the Union States, see how you fare, maybe the Confederates, I don't know. They're all in the description below if you want to download the mod. So basically, I think we'll just chuck everyone here. I will spread it out better. So we're in position unlimber. Oh, Limba. All right, let's quickly pause and see where I can put these guys that they won't be causing too much friendly fire. So maybe just chuck you here. How far are they pushed on that other side? We're actually at the boundary on this other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you two chaps to go with the other line infantry. Go to like... What, here? We'll spread this out nice. That'll do. Right, run. Go, 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 go. Refarm the line. But uh, my artillery will be soon in range. The 30, a 360 per unit. Quite insane, if I do say so myself. So it looks like the Confederates... Uh, I'm not really too sure what they're doing. I think they're just trying to get out of range because my howitzers are nearly ready. Reinforcements will probably make a second line. But they are starting to engage me with my... with their howitzers. I might push up soon. We'll see what they do. But my artillery is ra in range, raining fire and death upon the enemy. Here we go. Oh, wow. What a shot. I really wish we could hear the gun sounds and the shrapnel, but I hope you guys completely understand um, why I, I had to do it. It was either that or not being up, be able to upload the campaign. I fucking love the music in, in uh, Empire as well. So it looks like a unit of Dragoons is pushing up. Take aim. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly fasten bayonets. Go. We're going to go with a counter charge against the cavalry. I don't want to sit flat footed. And we've fastened bayonets. Nicely done. We're slowly but surely whittling them down. Looks like they must be engaging my front line here soon. Okay, my reinforcements are coming in as well. Engaging the front line. That's another good charge coming in. I don't think we're going to be able to fasten bayonets quickly enough, though. If we fasten them, we'll be going to be able to break these cavalry units. Oh, they're pushing straight for my... Cavalry, or trying to, that is. Alright. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Look at the, uh... Bloodshed is the word. <laughs> right, let's quickly reform my line here. My reinforcements are coming in as well. Which is great. Quickly just reform them like this. Right, how's everyone doing? The men that fasten the bayonets to engage the cavalry are doing it well. We've got a good line infantry battle going on here. Brother versus brother. Confederates versus the Union States. These cowards, livy livy cowards. And we've killed the enemy general. Hurrah. Wait, what? 
No, I think it might have been me that died. <laughs> I didn't look. Oh, fuck. Mind you. Our general unit is engaging the cavalry there. Still holding on. Alright, let's get my... Artillery to try and wipe out theirs. We've broken them on that other line. Maybe we should just fasten bayonets, hit them, hit them hard, run down the remaining stragglers. Oh, they are... Hmm. Those artillery are giving me a bit of a pain in the ass. Hmm. Right. Everyone, fasten bayonets. We're going to charge them. Go, 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 go. We should be able to overpower them. Indefinitely. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, we've actually lost that unit there. They're broken. Really? Well, looks like these men in reserves are going to charge. Maybe because they fasten bayonets? I don't know. We're going to be able to break this unit here quite easily. Get my artillery to rain fire and death upon their artillery, which is basically nearly broken. My reinforcements are trickling in. Mind you, it's not like we have a general unit here to hold everyone together. Alright, we smash this left hand flank. Let's continue. Alright, come on, push. Go, 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 go. Alright, get my artillery to hit that other unit there. We've smashed the left flank, but the center and the right seems to be still holding. Come on, go, 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 go. Being clustered like this isn't the best idea. But it was just how I redeployed them. Getting some really nice cinematic shots here. Alright, let's flank these guys around here. We'll get one unit to continue to run them down. We'll get the other unit to hit them here. And then this unit to swing around and get them from behind. Getting at my artillery now to halt and disable fire at will. I think letting them continue to fire will cause more friendly fire than what they're worth. Alright, go, 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 go. We're beating them in this engagement. But there's going to be a lot of lives lost. Just inevitably, to say the least. Alright. Swing around and hit this unit here. That's holding on. Really need those cavalry units. But this is a really nice battle to start things off. It's a really nice showcase of things, what's to come. But let me know in the comments. Oh, wow. What a... Oh, no. He's gotten back up. That was a really nice engagement. So we've killed the enemy general. Which is great. Yeah, let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand. Um, do you think my tactic of trying to take the eastern states as quickly as possible? Hit them and hit them hard. And maybe sort of set up a blockade. But I'm quite surprised that the AI has well, basically sold off most of their territory. Alrighty, so what's, uh, what's sort of still here in effect? So there's a unit here. I knew we could beat them in an engagement. In a bayonet engagement. Because we just have the sheer number. Let 
Nicely done. Nearly broken them. Let's start uh, speeding things up a little bit now, shall we? We've got them on the back foot. We're about to win. I don't know how we're going to do run running down those others, though. All right, let's throw this other unit in. Victory! Let's uh, end the battle there. A heroic one at that. I'm curious to see the casualties inflicted and casualties sustained. Okay. Victory. We deployed 8,704. We lost 2,173 on the field. Uh, Gregory Hopkins deployed to shy under 3,000 men. Deployed 2,968, lost 2,472. So we did outnumber them two, three to one, about. We managed to lose 1,700. So that's not too bad uh, for our first battle against the Confederates and my first battle in the campaign. And now we're going to be able to take Jackson, Mississippi. All right, and we still didn't have our full army there. Okay, let's push up. Um, can I just move you out here? Okay, we can't quite attack it just yet. Right. Let's have a quick look at Washington. Let's sally forth, run down these smaller broken units. Yeah. Order resolve. Clear victory. We deployed 5,144. We lost 154 on the field. The Confederates deployed 1,896. So let's throw them back. Nicely done. And we're going to be able to push upon Richmond, Virginia. Let's move the half a stack that's garrisoned in, in Philadelphia to Washington, D.C., uh, we have 472 in the war chest. But regardless, I think uh, it's nearly time to end the episode here. We're going to continue to push from our rather big military holdings in St. Louis in Missouri. We're going to push down and take Jackson, Mississippi. We might even be able to take New Orleans. And then if we can hold these two territories, we can pu quickly push upon Richmond, uh, North and South Carolina, Georgia, uh, Florida. But uh, we've had a nice string of victories to start the campaign off. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If this video hits 200 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload and release the second episode. But uh, if it doesn't, never fear, you just going to have to wait a little bit longer if the like goal target isn't hit. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've watched all the way through, let me know in the comment section. Actually, I, I always like doing this occasionally on my videos, if you've watched all the way through. Uh, put in the comment section down below, Simsy likes turtles. It really fucks with all the other subscribers. Like, Simsy like, what's this joke that always pops up every other month? <laughs> so put in the comments, Simsy likes turtles. That's great. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy the campaign. Let me know in the comments uh, where you'd like me to expand. Do you think this tactic of pushing down to the east and maybe trying to blockade here? Um, oh, I did. It. Speaking of blockade, I didn't even think about a fleet. Maybe I should build a fleet. But, um, we can't. Doesn't seem because it's probably a good idea because they could block our ports. Hmm. Maybe not, because I can't seem to recruit it. And I remember in the custom battles that you can't actually do a naval engagement. But yeah, check out my social media links if you haven't already. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's time to end the campaign here. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for more content on SimC Total War. Goodbye.